As the sun rises for a new day, I hope to change old habits. But within a matter of seconds, I jump straight back into old habits. I spend every morning with my eyes glued to the screen, not only watching, but checking analytics to see the engagement on the content I produce because, well, my work relies on audience engagement. As hard as I would try to go on about my day, at the back of my head, I'd be thinking about the stats on my socials. Social media has become such a world of its own that real life starts to get lost in it. Because of the lack of actual human interaction, this made me feel like I'm not good enough, like I needed to do more. Sometimes I'd wake up and not feel inspired to do anything, only because my content wasn't validated by the audience and the people I call my friends. I'd sometimes tell myself that the content I create is not for them, it's for me. But this, of course, was a lie. To some degree. In the past week, I found myself at a low point and I asked myself, why do I feel this way? I realized that social media has made me forget to live life, engage with friends, and enjoy the moments with those around me. With smartphones constantly updating us with how much screen time we use, I was shocked to see my screen time jump all the way up to eight hours a day. This is eight hours I could use to be proactive in other facets of life. Eight hours I can never get back. But instead of looking at the time that I've lost, I can only stop myself from using that time again on social media. So I've decided to take a break. This is a place where I come to just take in the scenery and there's a sensation that happens internally when I just stand here. It's something special, man. 30 days with no social media. This meaning that I'll only be able to use messaging apps, upload on YouTube and using third parties for social media uploads. Besides that, I'll have to engage with nothing but life. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really going through it. Quitting social media is not an easy task. Having to find alternative things to do in those moments where you don't know what to do with yourself. So I'm trying to figure it out. I've made a list of things that I should be doing. This is day one, like I said, so I'm still trying to readjust certain habits. I know that majority of you guys are probably watching this video to see the giveaway part, but it's coming, trust me. You know, I see all the other social media platforms, but the most difficult one to get over is Instagram. Anyway, tomorrow I'll be shooting a video for DB. It's a freestyle. He'll explain it himself. We out here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's DB, it's DIB. That's Plagari, baby, you know what I'm saying? Come in here shooting the first freestyle. No, I don't want to call it Freestyle Friday anymore, you know? It's not Freestyle Friday, but we're shooting the first freestyle of the year. Uh, they're not just going to come out on Fridays anymore, you know? That's why I don't want to call it Freestyle Friday. But I'm back on my freestyle shit. You know, I gotta remind niggas who's really the boss here, you know? Pink was always there, but this. Nah, bro, I literally just, bro, I just picked it up, dog. <laughs> Whatever, man. Ah, oh, stand up. Where are we shooting here, bro? Hey? Where are we shooting here? Yeah, that was so dope, man. You know, we're shooting in there. You want to dock like this around? Because remember, you said you. Yeah, I just want it to be dark around the actual studio there. there. Yeah, and just light in there. Who drinks coffee with no sugar? Three and a half. Two and a half. It felt like three, bro. Oh shit, it was three. I'm sorry, I did not even do that at Wow. Wait. Okay, Gambino is a mastermind. Yeah. Fuck a bitch yeah. half the time. Oof. This sounds so good in my ears. Damn. I can't get over it. This shit pee, bro. 
Yeah. We too loud. That shit that you smoke, you won't cut it. I took that girl out and she ordered everything on the menu to fuck up my budget. She wanna take a vacation, but it ain't a payday for me. I ain't got me no luggage. It ain't my fault that you came all this way for the dick. She complaining, but I know she love it. I get it. You used to the nicest of things. I guess this is the moment that all of you guys have pretty much been waiting for this whole video. I've selected two people who have won, and well, the second person is sort of wishy washy because they didn't they didn't say that they want the ring light but it was just the random shuffle and that's the name it stopped on the first person is amatle amatle congrats you got the ring light i'm gonna give you the the one i already have i'm gonna make a purchase for a new one once i get my racks but for now the second person will have to wait young Atlaba wanted the backdrop and i'm not sure if the ring light is something that you do want so I did another random shuffle and the person who did get the ring light is Honeygenix. Congrats to both of you, Amatli and Honeygenix and Yanga Klava who will confirm if she wants the ring light or not. I realized that in the comments some of you guys were commenting based on what you guys do want but for the video that you watched last week it was essentially just for the ring light so this week we'll be looking at getting giving away the backdrop so in this specific video do comment with why you want the specific backdrop and how you make use of it once again guys thank you so much for watching another video i'm looking forward to making more content that's relatable and can engage with you guys on another level if you do come on here and you do like the content that's here do subscribe hit that notification bell and you will never miss out on anything on this channel